until people get inside, you don't really know what's in there. What do you see when you look at Burlington's old Moran plan? Every time I go in, I see something different. Some see decay in the long, quiet space that would burn coal for power, just a spot for vandals to tag. But artist Catherine Monstream sees potential. It never go gets old for me. Last summer, Monstream embarked on a new project, painting the beauty she sees at the plant. I was just so um, mesmerized with the shapes and shadows and how the grid work crossed. She'll show and discuss 27 of her paintings in the industrial space Saturday, a one-time opportunity she and the board of New Moran hopes will excite Burlington for permanent change on the city's waterfront. For the last several months, we've been in close collaboration with the mayor's office as well as CEDO, the, the economic development office. Up for discussion, a transformation, a new public market, an event space, and more, capitalizing on the building's prime location, but it hasn't been easy. It's constant problem solving to try to find our way to the most you know, vibrant and feasible project. The budget's been slashed from $33 million to 20, and there's a lot of fundraising and design tweaks ahead. I'm still optimistic about this, and, and, uh, and, and we're working hard on it still. By next June, the board hopes to start the year-long construction process, targeting a grand opening two summers from now. I'm really excited that um, for people to see it and make their own decision and if, to see that it is actually worth saving. And if her dreams do become reality, you can bet Monstream will have no shortage of inspiration at the old coal plant perched along the water's edge. In Burlington, Rachel Carr's WPTZ yeah. News Channel 5. You can catch the paintings at the Moran plant tonight until 7.30 and then again on Saturday from noon to 4.